G'day guys, welcome back today. I'm not doing a pour today. I'm gonna to talk to you about the magic formula. Yes, the magic formula, here it is. Uh, now, you may know that I use quite a lot of paint when I do my flip cup pours. So this formula has, only really works for flip cup pours because it needs so much more paint than it does for, say, puddle pours or swipes, uh, dirty pours, things like that. So if you're interested in flip cups, this is the formula for you to use, in my opinion. Now, it does also um, come down to your consistency of your paint. So if your paint's really, really thin, this is gonna be too much paint because this is gonna spread all over the place. If it's too thick, it's not gonna be enough. So this, if you've seen my consistency videos, it has a little mound on top when you drop your paint uh, into the cup from the stick, it leaves a little mound. So for me, this works. Uh, you'll just have to play around with your consistency and see what works for you. But it certainly is a guide for those people that are struggling with the amount of paint to use. So I'll show you on four different size canvases how this works. So. This is in inches, that's the canvas. So one side times the other side times 0.1. So for instance, here we go. For this size, which is my card that I use, if we're using this formula, we use inches as it says here. So one side is 12 inches, that side is 16 inches, so we're going 12 by 16 inches times 0.1 gives you the ounces. So 12 by 16 times 0.1 gives you 19 ounces. Now, if you need to convert that to grams, just convert the 19 times 28 because there is uh, 28 grams per ounce. So 19 times 28 will give you 532 grams. So you know roughly that you're gonna need about 530 grams. I would tend to just round up and maybe go 550 grams just to be on the safe side. So do you understand that? One side times the other side times 0.1 will give you your ounces. And then for grams times that ounce, by 28 to give you your grams. All right, let's see how that works with the next size up. So this is it here, the next size up. This is the 12 by 24 inch, which is the 30 by 60 centimeter canvas that I use a lot for my uh, tutorial videos on YouTube. So again, we are going one side by the other side. So this is 12 inches times 24 inches. There it is there, 12 by 24 times 0 0.1. Gives you 29 ounces of mixed paint. If you wanna convert that to grams, 29 times 28 gives you 812 grams. So you need about 800 grams of paint to cover this size canvas. All right, all with me so far? Let's do another size. This one here, 16 by 20 inches. If I was doing a flip cup, I would drag them this way. I don't like dragging them down that way. I prefer always to have more cups and drag across the short edge. So here we go again. 16 inch by 20 inch, which is 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So 16 times 20, 16 times 20 times 0 0.1 gives you 32 ounces. 32 ounces by 28 gives you 896 grams. So you might just want to round that up to 900 grams of paint. And as I said, it's a rough guide. It works for me. You will have to just adjust with your consistency, but it's, it's, a, it's a way to do it. Um, it's not the only way to do it, by all means. You know, you're welcome to follow this or not, I, I don't mind. I just thought, I get asked so many times, and I know there's so many charts out there. Uh, the charts, for me, for flip cups, they're not enough paint. They're great if you're doing swiping, things like that, but for my flip cups, those charts that are floating around don't work for me personally. So, uh, my personal opinion is this. 
Oh, and I must mention, I should have done it at the beginning. Um, I worked out my ratios of paint I needed and some clever person, Michael Dixon, hey Michael, has converted it into a formula. Uh, I have tweaked it just a little bit. He did um, 0 0.09 and I've just increased it just a touch because uh, I find I need that little bit of extra paint. So thank you for that, Michael. And I, as I said, I've just converted it to 0.1. So, right, now I've got one more size to show you, the big one, I also use this one quite a bit, can't really fit anything bigger into this frame here, so that's the bigger one, I'll pop that there, so again, this one is 16 by 32 inches, which is 40 centimetres by 80 centimetres, so we're using the formula, A times B in inches, A times B times 0 0.1 so 16 inches by 32 inches 16 by 32 times 0 0.1 gives you 51 ounces of mixed paint at a nice consistency leaves a little mound so converting that to grams 15 times 28 gives you 1428 now I found I do need a little bit more as the canvases get bigger I tend to do a little bit more so I would round that up to uh, 1500 grams of paint. Now I weigh everything. If you have a look back on my YouTube videos you will see where how I've mixed my paints. So I get a little kitchen scale, a little digital kitchen, kitchen scale. I weigh um, my medium, I weigh my paint depending on which um, technique or formula I'm using. Sometimes I use my 3 2 1 quarter for flip cups and recently I've been doing 50-50 glue and water. So I've got two different formulas, both produce really good cells. So as I said, the first one is my three parts Floetrol, two parts glue, one part pouring medium and a quarter part water. And I use that three parts pouring medium to one part paint. The more recent one is 65% uh, glue, 35% water and I use that 50-50 to pouring medium to paint. So those are my little formulas and ratios that I use. So give them a go, see if they work for you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if this video has helped you in any way. I would really appreciate that. And join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook. Come over and join us, say hi. Love to see all your work. Give this a go, show me how you've gone. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So hopefully that's all helped, hey? Now I'll put this little formula back here for you. I'll put it there. So feel free to take a little screenshot of that and keep it somewhere safe. Print it off, keep it with you if you're doing flip cups. As I said, it doesn't really work for swipes. It's way too much paint but uh, certainly works for me for flip cups. All right, let's zoom in a little bit here. Actually, maybe I can move it just a little bit into the middle. There we go. Zoom in on it. Okay. I'll just leave it there for a just a short while so you can take a little photo of it or a screenshot or whatever you want to do so that you've got that handy and um, yeah hope that's helped so I will see you for the next pour I'm going to do some more flip cups and I'll use this ratio rather than just winging it as I normally do so thanks again for joining me I'll see you for the next pour bye for now